Yet, aging is a natural part of life, and every phase has its own charm. However, it can be tough to appreciate ourselves, especially when we compare our current selves to our younger days. This feeling resonates with some of the biggest stars from the 70s and 80s. Kathleen Turner, Kelly McGillis, Jack Nicholson, and Brendan Fraser were once celebrated for their youthful looks, but they now present a different image. Let's take a look at these beloved stars from the past and see how they have changed over the years. Alfonso Pacino, better known as Al Pacino, has had an illustrious career in Hollywood spanning over five decades. Born on April 25, 1940, in Manhattan, New York, Pacino was drawn to acting at a young age. Despite facing numerous obstacles, including being rejected by the actor's studio multiple times, he persevered and eventually became one of the most respected actors of all time. Pacino first gained recognition for his role as Michael Corleone in the Godfather trilogy, which solidified his status as a talented and intense performer. His ability to convey complex emotions and bring depth to his characters set him apart from his peers. Over the years, he continued to deliver captivating performances in films like Scent of a Woman, Dog Day Afternoon, and Serpico. These roles further cemented his reputation as a versatile and compelling actor. One of Pacino's standout performances came in the 1997 film The Devil's Advocate, where he played a charming yet sinister character opposite Keanu Reeves. This movie demonstrated Pacino's range as an actor and his knack for making audiences both love and fear him simultaneously. In 2003, he took on the role of attorney Roy Cohn in HBO's adaptation of Tony Kushner's play Angels in America, earning critical acclaim and an Emmy Award for his powerful performance. Now in his 90s, Pacino remains active in the industry and continues to challenge himself artistically. In 2022, he starred alongside Jeremy Irons in Amazon Prime Video series Hunters, playing a Nazi hunter seeking justice for Holocaust survivors. Once again, Pacino proved that his talent remains undiminished by the passage of time. With his advanced age failing to dull his magnetic charisma, it appears that Pacino will remain a fixture in cinema for generations to come. Meg Ryan, known for her upbeat personality and stunning good looks, was a household name throughout the colorful decades of the 1980s and 90s. She won over audiences with her charming performances, most notably in classic romantic comedies such as When Harry Met Sally. Her endearing portrayals cemented her status as the undisputed queen of rom-coms, earning her legions of adoring fans. However, public perception of Meg Ryan shifted dramatically in 2011 when she became the focus of tabloid fodder due to a significant change in her appearance. Specifically, critics honed in on what they described as a trout pout, igniting widespread discussion and speculation surrounding the pressure celebrities face to maintain their youthful visages. Since then, Meg Ryan has adopted a quieter public presence, emerging sparingly in public settings. These occasional sightings suggest a notable transformation in her aesthetic choices, seemingly moving away from past cosmetic alterations. Now entering her 60s, Meg Ryan radiates serene confidence in her own skin, appearing happy and comfortable with her personal journey and self-presentation. Indeed, recent images reveal a more natural look, which devotees find refreshing and authentic, while still striking, Meg Ryan eschews artificial enhancements in favor of a less polished, yet elegant style. This evolution underscores her maturity and wisdom gained through years spent navigating fame and its accompanying challenges. Ultimately, Meg Ryan remains a beloved figure in Hollywood, lauded for both her talent and graceful aging. Despite facing unrelenting media attention and intense scrutiny, she continues to inspire admiration among generations of moviegoers who cherish her contributions to the cinematic landscape. As we watch her embrace her true self, it becomes clear that Meg Ryan's legacy extends far beyond romantic comedy stardom. Her resilience serves as a testament to every woman's power to define beauty on her own terms. In 1981, Kathleen Turner skyrocketed to fame with her unforgettable performance in the sensual thriller Body Heat. During the 80s, she became a regular fixture on red carpets, turning heads with her taste for luxurious gowns and alluring makeup. Her striking presence during that time left a lasting impression, making her a true symbol of the era's glitz and glamour. Fast forward to today, and the accomplished 69-year-old actress proudly embraces the natural aging process. Instead of hiding her gray hair, Turner flaunts her silvery locks in public appearances. In a heartfelt 2013 interview with Closer magazine, Approaching her 60th birthday, she delivered a strong message about inner worth. 
She urged women to reach a stage where their value isn't tied to their looks, but rather to their personal growth and self-acceptance. As Turner insightfully put it, I don't look like I did 30 years ago. Get over it. With her empowering stance, she encourages society to move past superficial judgments and celebrate every step along our individual paths of discovery and self-love. John Travolta's journey in the entertainment industry has been nothing short of remarkable. With a career spanning several decades, he has made his mark in both television and film, amassing a fortune of approximately $4 billion through his work. One unique aspect of Traveler's life is his passion for piloting airplanes, which sets him apart from many other actors. Despite losing his wife in 2020, Travolta, in 20, Travolta continues to remain a significant figure in Hollywood. His rise to fame began in the 1970s when he starred as Vincent Barbarino in Welcome Back, Cotter, a role that catapulted him to stardom. Over the years, he solidified his status in the film industry with memorable performances in critically acclaimed films like Pulp Fiction, Get Shorty, and Hairspray. These roles earned him numerous accolades, further cementing his place as a talented actor. Even as time passes, Travolta's influence and success in Hollywood persist, demonstrating his lasting impact on the silver screen. His ability to captivate audiences and deliver compelling performances has resonated throughout the years, leaving a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Through his diverse range of roles and undeniable talent, Travolta has created a body of work that will surely endure for generations to come. Transitioning into the topic of our discussion today, let's delve into the fascinating journey of the American actress, Goldie Hawn. Her very name, Goldie, seems like a perfect fit conjuring up images of her radiant blonde hair and sunny disposition. Around 2017, observant fans may have noticed a subtle yet significant transformation in Han's appearance, igniting rumors about potential cosmetic procedures. However, Han herself remains enigmatic regarding these conjectures, keeping us guessing about her beauty secrets. Han first gained fame in the late 1960s when she became a regular cast member on the popular NBC sketch comedy show Rowan and Martin's Laughing. This exposure led to increased visibility and recognition for her unique comedic timing and vivacious personality. Soon enough, prestigious accolades followed suit, including both an Academy Award and a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress due to her standout performance in the film adaptation of Cactus Flower. Fast forward several decades later, and we find Goldie Hawn still captivating audiences with memorable roles one of which includes playing Mistress Claus alongside Kurt Russell in Netflix's beloved holiday movie series, The Christmas Chronicles. Despite the passage of time, Han maintains a timeless appeal, effortlessly charming viewers while continuing to grace screens with her undeniable charisma. Indeed, it appears that age truly is just a number for this ageless star. After graduating high school at age 16, Victoria Principal received a scholarship to study at Rutgers University in New Jersey where she pursued pre-med studies with the intention of becoming a physician. However, a tragic car accident during her sophomore year left her with severe injuries and altered her plans. She moved to New York City to recover and began taking acting classes as part of her therapy. This unforeseen detour ultimately led to a prosperous career in acting. Principal made her professional acting debut in a minor role in the movie The Life and Times of Judge Roy Bean. Over the next few years, she appeared in various television shows, including The Six Million Dollar Man, which starred Lee Majors, whom she later married. Despite these early appearances, it wasn't until her breakthrough role in the popular TV series Dallas that she gained widespread recognition. From 1978 to 1987, Principal played the role of Pamela Barnes Ewing in Dallas. Her performance earned critical acclaim, making her one of the standout stars of the hit primetime soap opera. Although she stepped away from acting in the late 80s, her work in Dallas remains her most iconic and memorable contribution to Hollywood. Interestingly enough, Principal maintains a youthful appearance even today, having aged gracefully since her days on set. When looking back at pictures of herself throughout the years, it's evident that she has hardly changed, almost defying the passage of time itself. Apart from her thriving acting career, Principal ventured into the beauty business by founding her skincare line called Principal Secret. With products designed primarily for mature women seeking anti-aging solutions, Principal Secret aims to help users achieve healthier, more vibrant complexions. While Principal acknowledges that no product can completely erase the signs of aging, her brand offers customers realistic expectations regarding their desired results. 
principal secret focuses on promoting overall skin health rather than merely targeting specific issues like wrinkles or fine lines. As someone who understands the importance of proper skin care, especially as we grow older, Principal continues sharing her knowledge through her brand, hoping to empower others to feel confident in their own skin. Matt LeBlanc, known for his role as the charming and womanizing Joey Tribbiani on the hit TV show Friends, has always had a reputation as one of the sexier stars of the series. However, now at 54 years old, he has chosen to embrace a more authentic version of himself rather than falling victim to the vanity that once consumed his character. One bold move LeBlanc made was letting his hair go gray naturally in his 40s, which goes against the typical expectation in the entertainment industry for actors to maintain a youthful appearance. This decision reflects his confidence in his own skin and a desire to break away from traditional beauty norms. His willingness to rock a dad bod further highlights his dedication to staying true to himself, rather than trying to fit into society's narrow definition of what is considered attractive. Despite some critics on social media attempting to body shame him during the recent Friends reunion, LeBlanc's fans continue to adore him for his charisma and charm. His refusal to give in to airbrush perfection makes him a breath of fresh air in an industry often obsessed with youth and unrealistic physical standards. By embracing his natural aging process, LeBlanc sets a positive example for men everywhere to feel confident and comfortable in their own skin. Transitioning into our discussion today, Let's delve into the life of a Hollywood icon, Jack Nicholson. With a career spanning over six decades, Nicholson started with minor roles before rising to prominence in groundbreaking films like Easy Rider and Carnal Knowledge. His decision to join the film industry was influenced significantly by these early experiences. As his wealth grew, so did his responsibilities and the range of roles he played. However, age eventually caught up with him, manifesting through noticeable signs of aging and weight gain Despite staying away from acting for nearly 10 years now, retirement isn't something that crosses Nicholson's mind. Instead, he appears to enjoy life, utilizing his vitality fully. One aspect often speculated about is whether Nicholson's adherence to a vegetarian diet due to his beliefs as an animal rights activist might have contributed to his longevity in the industry. While it remains an intriguing topic, definitive evidence linking dietary choices to lifespan eludes us. Nonetheless, maintaining physical health undoubtedly plays a crucial role in anyone's ability to sustain their energy levels throughout their lifetime. Throughout his illustrious career, Jack Nicholson has gifted us with unforgettable performances, cementing his place among cinema greats. Even though we may not see him on screen anymore, his work continues to resonate deeply within us all. Transitioning seamlessly through the decades, Johnny Mathis has remained a captivating figure in the music industry. His physical appearance may have changed over the years, but his ability to deliver timeless delights through his music has never wavered. With a career spanning almost seven decades, Mathis has amassed an impressive discography of over 70 studio albums. This prolific output alone speaks volumes about his unwavering dedication and passion for music. Interestingly, during the 20th century, only two artists, Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra, were able to outpace Mathis in terms of record sales. This fact serves as a testament to Mathis's widespread appeal and enduring popularity among audiences worldwide. Despite witnessing many of his contemporaries fade into obscurity, Mathis continues to grace the music scene with his commanding presence. For those who have followed Mathis since the early days, his current persona might seem somewhat unfamiliar due to the passage of time and the natural progression of his artistic journey. Nevertheless, one thing remains constant, Mathis's innate ability to touch hearts through his soulful melodies. As a three-time Grammy Hall of Fame inductee, he occupies a unique space in the annals of music history. His contributions resonate deeply with fans both old and new, leaving an indelible mark on the ever-evolving soundtrack of our lives. After the sizzling success of Nine Two Weeks in the mid-80s, Mickey Rourke skyrocketed to fame as a certified heartthrob. His appeal was twofold. Audiences adored him for his impressive acting skills and his youthful handsome looks. But what truly set Rourke apart was his versatility. He even proved himself as a skilled boxer, flaunting a chiseled physique. As time marches on, so does change, especially for the 69-year-old star. Following his boxing career, Rourke suffered extensive facial injuries, prompting multiple surgeries to restore his features. Regrettably, the outcome fell short of expectations, leaving Rourke less than satisfied. 
He confessed that many procedures targeted the damage caused by years in the ring. Rourke opened up about undergoing several nasal corrections, five times, to be exact, along with surgery on a fractured cheekbone. These interventions served as testaments to the impact his athletic pursuits left on his physical appearance. In retrospect, Rourke admitted seeking help from the wrong hands when it came to fixing his face. Despite his discontentment, Rourke remains truthful about the difficulties he encountered during recovery. Having experienced numerous surgeries including nasal reconstruction and repairs for damaged cheekbones, Rourke bears visible marks tracing back to his earlier days as a pugilist. Transforming into an iconic figure, Lou Ferrigno brought the Hulk character to life in the 1977 television series, leaving an unforgettable impression on audiences worldwide. His imposing physique, honed through years of dedication to bodybuilding, earned him prestigious titles like Mr. Universe and Mr. America from the International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness. Even if he's not quite as toned today, Ferrigno's charismatic presence continues to captivate attention, evidence of his remarkable and lasting contributions to the beloved Hulk persona. Long before Marvel Studios dominated cinemas, Ferrigno introduced the Hulk to live-action television screens, becoming instantly recognizable thanks to his towering stature and striking green makeup. With his bulging muscles and intense gaze, fans couldn't help but be drawn to this unique portrayal of a comic book legend. Off-screen too, Ferrigno maintained his commanding presence. His muscular build served as inspiration for countless aspiring bodybuilders seeking their own path to physical greatness. Before stepping into the shoes of the Hulk, Ferrigno had already established himself as a force to be reckoned with in the competitive arena of professional bodybuilding. As early as age 21, he claimed victory in the IFBB Mr. Universe competition, marking just the first milestone in his illustrious career. Over time, he would collect several more accolades, further solidifying his status as a titan among men. Indeed, it seemed destiny that someone so physically extraordinary would eventually find themselves personifying one of pop culture's mightiest heroes. When Ferrigno took on the mantle of the Hulk, he wasn't merely playing another superhero. He became synonymous with raw power and determination. Despite being clad primarily in purple shorts and layers of green paint, Ferrigno managed to convey complex emotions beneath a monstrous exterior, elevating what could have been a mere caricature into something truly special. In doing so, he set a high bar for future adaptations, ensuring that every subsequent performer tasked with bringing the Hulk to life had big shoes to fill. Now, decades since his initial introduction to audiences, Lou Ferrigno remains firmly etched in our collective memory as the definitive version of the Hulk for many viewers. Though other talented individuals have taken up the challenge of portraying this cherished character, none can replace the nostalgia and reverence we hold for Ferrigno's tenure. And though he may no longer possess the same degree of physical prowess that once defined him, his legacy lives on, resonating deeply within both the realms of Hollywood and bodybuilding alike. Throughout his journey, Ferrigno has proven himself a versatile talent who transcends singular categorization. He stands tall as both an accomplished actor and esteemed athlete, having carved out a niche where few others dared venture. By seamlessly blending these two distinct worlds, he leaves behind a vibrant tapestry woven from threads of ambition, perseverance, and creativity. So here's to Lou Ferrigno, whose indomitable spirit will undoubtedly continue inspiring generations to come. Recently, Bridget Fonda captured attention as she appeared in public for the first time in over a decade. At 58 years old, the former star of the 1990s had not been seen on a red carpet since 2010. During her outing in Los Angeles, she was almost unrecognizable, opting for a casual, makeup-free look. This stark change from her glamorous past drew comparisons to her captivating presence in films like Single White Female, released in 1992. As she ran errands, Fonda's relaxed style marked a significant departure from the polished appearances she was once known for. Many took notice of this transformation, appreciating her choice to embrace comfort over societal expectations of beauty. This trend among former pinups highlights a growing movement where these iconic figures prioritize their personal style and well-being rather than adhering to traditional standards of aging in the public eye. Justine Bateman first gained fame in the 80s for her memorable portrayal of Mallory Keaton on the popular sitcom Family Ties. Since then, she has expanded her career in impressive ways, branching out into various film and television roles. Some notable projects include Satisfaction, Men Behaving Badly, and Desperate Housewives. But Bateman isn't just an actress, 
She's also demonstrated her creativity through co-writing, co-directing, and co-producing the 2017 comedy short Five Minutes. When it comes to her personal life, Bateman's journey has been equally fascinating. She married Mark Fluent in 2001, and the couple shares two children together. Together, they have experienced both the joys and challenges of family life. Recently, some observers have noted a change in Bateman's appearance. Rather than giving in to societal pressure to maintain a youthful appearance through cosmetic means, Bateman has chosen to embrace the natural aging process. This decision reflects a larger commitment to authenticity and represents a powerful statement about accepting oneself and challenging traditional beauty standards. Her dedication to aging gracefully stands as a testament to self-acceptance and offers a fresh perspective in an industry where unnatural beauty is often prioritized. Once a Hollywood heartthrob, Alec Baldwin first gained attention for his role in the 1990 film Miami Blues, where he captured audiences with his impossibly tan and alluring physique. At the time, Baldwin was the epitome of a leading man, starring in romantic films such as The Marrying Man and Prelude to a Kiss. However, over the years, the actor underwent a significant transformation, embracing a more mature, silver fox aesthetic in later roles like those seen in It's Complicated. Throughout his career, Baldwin also demonstrated his comedic prowess through memorable performances on popular television shows such as Saturday Night Live and 30 Rock. Despite these accomplishments, recent events have cast the now 63-year-old actor in a different light. Exhausted and scruffy, Baldwin made headlines when he surrendered his phone to the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office, a device believed to hold critical evidence related to the tragic death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of the low-budget film Rust in October. This dramatic shift in Baldwin's public persona highlights the complexities and challenges faced while navigating fame and unexpected controversy. Gone is the polished, charming leading man of yesteryear, replaced by a weary figure grappling with the consequences of misfortune. This striking contrast serves as a poignant reminder of the ever-changing landscape of celebrity culture and how even the most beloved figures can experience sudden shifts in public